No. no. It's misery. It's just Velcro then? It is wonderful to receive a letter from a friend. Your dog Especially a letter covered in dog slobber. <laughs> the letter is the first of a series of pet pocket products. Letter? It's an intelligent toy that you can literally mail directly to man's best friend. You mail it to yourself? Say again? What What the hell old world community do they live in where this is the mail person? <laughs> and contains no harmful materials, so it's safe the for The fuck is this? Well, whatever. And when you want to clean it, simply rinse it with water and soap. I don't understand though. What's the thing? So that you, you mail, mail it to yourself. The letter, there's a lot of small because where you can place your dog's favorite treats behind Velcro. <laughs> and this so it's mail for your dog. dog? Search and find rewards. So instead of just them. giving your dogs treats, why not piss them Pet off instead? Are designed to promote your dog's I mean, I like dogs as much as the next thing. person, but they don't get mail. Like they don't understand the concept pockets. here. Your dog has to use its problem-solving skills to find. Look at these problem-solving skills in action. Its teeth and paws to pry open the pockets. This mimics the natural way dogs search and find food it challenges it mentally but and stimulate it in ways do most dogs need dogs this sort of rigorous mental exercise why don't you just give it to them right like this where where does the post office have to be like what's involved? even why the point of mailing it to yourself why not just give the velcro it up and pass it to them it becomes naturally tired and calm from playing with it in short, Pet Pocket Letter is made from strong and safe materials. What about the stamp, though? Isn't it going to eat the stamp? You know how your dog's natural instincts are to rip Velcro? Right. Velcro envelopes? You can introduce some of the more challenging products. Show a Rubik's Cube. Oh, these are like dog puzzles? I guess. Well... And then your dog can graduate. Your dog's wearing a watch, I notice, in this scenario, too, but all right. It's a rough time. <laughs> you have a cat, right? I have a cat, yes. This is not a product for a cat, either. No, so it's not really pet pocket so much. Like, your bird or pig will not... Right. Well, maybe it's pig. It's dog, dog pocket. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, you miss it on that alliteration. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, they're doing pretty good. They're, like, almost a third of the way there. I'm telling you, that's how you make a successful Kickstarter. Even if it's a stupid idea, just have it be for pets. Yeah, there you go. People love doing pointless shit for their pets. And honestly, too, you could probably rebrand this as, like, Kid Letter, you know? And I just do the same <laughs> thing. Like, <laughs> if it doesn't work out, like, have have a mentally challenging puzzle for your two-year-old. I don't want to deal with you here. This will occupy you for an hour or so. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. That is pretty good. Hold yeah. on. Um, <laughs> My guy just noticed the pledge goal jumped $200. So what happened? Um, this is an interesting pledge goal. Like for 20 bucks, you get 6% off of a letter single plus. But why, eight... why does it have to be a letter? I Like there's not this network of dog owners mailing themselves or each other these things, right? So what's the point? Is it supposed to, like, tell your dog that the postal worker is good? I Or that triggers them right? to think, like, ooh, a treat is here? How far behind the times is this? Like, do people really even still mail things nowadays? Like, here, dog, there's a treat in this app. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> Someone tweeted you a treat. Oh, and oh. A, a lot of horrible other things. Never oh mind. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is a very, this is a long, long, like, thing. But you can see, like, products can be used by all breeds of dog. Like, this isn't just for pit bulls and really <laughs> strong dogs. Even chihuahuas. Right. Come on. Uh, let's see here. Basic letter and add-on. So, it's weird because they said it was, like, a series. But, like, looking through it, I only see, like, kind of, like, letter. And then you can just sort of add things to things. And they're all bones, which sort of presumes that all all pets are dogs, which I think is, frankly, a little unfair. Well, even the icon of the dog graduate. Seriously, what my what my fish doesn't need mental fortitude? Is that what you're saying, Pet Pocket? I regularly drop Velcro letters into my fish bowl. <laughs> please don't, please don't invalidate my ferret. And also, why are all my fish dead? <laughs> 
It seems like all the pledge goals, too, are just discounts on the product, like 20% off a letter, 14% off a letter, 26% off. Like, how do I just get one? Well, you have to mail it to yourself to get one. Oh, I see. There, This is just weird marketing. You do get the whole thing, but it's just like, here's how much money you saved. And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't sound like that. Right. Also, most of these say reward no longer available, even though they've still got a way to go. <laughs> yeah, their campaign still has, uh, it's got a few days. Yeah, and I think it's, I think it's a mistake, too, because, like, some of these goals have, not, some of this, like, cost, some of these rewards haven't, like, or exceed the money they've raised. So, I think they just <laughs> forgot to, or they're, like, fake goals, like, nah, we're not going to do that. But in order to get your reward, you, the human, have to tear open this whole Velcro contraption. <laughs> which contains the Velcro dog contraption. All right. <laughs> <I got nothing laughs> <else>. <laughs>